So let's get right into that top five news. As the March 31st deadline looms, nuclear talks with Iran seem to have hit a roadblock. Now, the New York Times is reporting that Iranian officials appear to be changing their tune, saying they no longer agree to ship atomic fuel out of the country. This, of course, is a key element to any agreement. Secretary of State John Kerry is at the front of the negotiations taking place in Switzerland. Now to an update on the German wings crash in the French Alps that killed all 150 people on board and the man allegedly behind it. Officials say the co-pilot, 27-year-old Andreas Lubitz, seems to have been suffering from some kind of mental illness that he hid from his employer. Now officials found a torn up sick note in his apartment that would have excused him from work the day of the crash. The pastor at the Lutheran church in the Lubitz's hometown has come out and said that the church and community support his family in spite of the fact that prosecutors believe he is responsible for intentionally crashing the plane. And at least 25 people were injured when an Air Canada flight skidded off the runway at the Halifax airport after an abrupt landing over the weekend. Considering the major damage to the plane, officials say they are thankful more people were not seriously injured. Officials are investigating exactly what caused the accident. A second body has been found at the site where a building exploded and collapsed last week in New York City. The explosion left 22 people injured and two missing. Now officials continue cleaning, cleaning up the site in the East Village and searching for clues as to what happened there. All right, guys, last in your top five headlines, Indiana's governor is standing behind his state's controversial Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Mike Penn says the law will not be changing anytime soon. So why is it causing so many people to get so heated about it in the first place? Well, Penn says the law is intended to prevent the government from infringing on individuals' religious beliefs, but opponents of the law say it allows businesses owner business owners to use religious reasons to legally discriminate against members mm. of the LGBT community. So since the law passed last week, several companies, including Yelp, have actually threatened to take their business away from the state. I know uh, a lot of celebrities, important people, have really sounded off on Twitter. Yeah. Ashton mm -hmm. Kutcher, Miley Cyrus, Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. They've all expressed their disgust over this law. And uh, Charles so. Barkley, absolutely. Charles Barkley is even sounding off saying that the NCAA should actually not hold the Final mm -hmm. Four tournament in Indiana, which is, of course, happening this weekend. I'm disgusted by this law myself. So many members of my family and friends are part of the LGBT yeah, community. Same here. And I think that anyone would discriminate them in 2015. Still, we have so far to go. Go, but mm -hmm. this law, I understand what he's trying to make it do, but you can't, you need a separation between ch church and state, and right. this is what causes this discrimination. And I so. hate the way they, in the def in defense of like people who are religious or believe in God and Christianity, mm -hmm. whatever it is, not everyone is like that because, you know, Christianity or, or religion is about spreading love, and if you love, you can't discriminate. Of course. If End you're, of story. If you're, you know, not allowing a florist to, put wedding at you know a gay person's funeral yeah. you're you're allowing hate and, exactly. and that's not what i would think any god would right. allow exactly, exactly.